Hey everyone, it's Dan and Ash here, aka Dashley, and we are really excited because we're going to bring you the very first of Dashley's top takeaways. And what this is, is each month we're going to read a book and share with you our top takeaways from that book. Great, so this month's book is called The 10x Rule by Grant Cardone. We listened to this on audiobook via Audible just because it was easier for us when we were commuting and doing house chores, all sorts of things. Um, but it is a fantastic book, so check it out. The book really introduces you to the concept of multiplying your efforts and your mindset by 10. And if you can do that, it will really help you to achieve your goals. So we're going to give you our top three takeaways and we hope you enjoy it and we hope it's useful for you as well. Great. So takeaway number one for me was that your goals need to be big enough and inspiring enough to actually motivate you to do them. So in the book, it talks about if you have a goal, multiply it by 10, which might sound extreme. But actually, when I thought about it, I thought, well, how many times have I had a goal and then actually done nothing? And it's probably because that goal wasn't inspiring enough for me to actually do anything about mm -hmm. it. So big goals, inspiring goals will actually give you the motivation that you need. Yes. So the second takeaway is all about action. And what it says is that people often underestimate the level of action and activity it takes to reach a goal. So if I reflect and I look at goals that I haven't achieved in the past, when I look back at them, I think to myself, ah, it's because actually that took a lot more than I realized to achieve that goal. And I actually never did it because I didn't take the massive action that was needed. And if you're in the property game, you'll know that actually, if you want to put an offer on a house and get accepted in order to then, you know, develop it or renovate it, you probably have to view something like 20 or 30 houses mm. and do a ton of work to find the right one and then offer on that property. So it's all about multiplying your action and don't underestimate how much it takes. And it gives you a breakdown of four ways that you can take action or four ways that people take action. Number one is no action, which means you want something, but you're not doing anything to get you there. Number two is reverse action. So your goal is over here, but the actions you're taking are actually moving you away from your goal. And that's not good either. Number three is average action. So everybody takes a little bit of action. They're doing some of the things right, but they're not being consistent. And number four is all about massive action. You will stop at nothing to achieve your goal. So if there is something that you want, think about number four, always massive action. Stop at nothing to do it and overestimate the amount of effort you're going to have to put in and then you'll get there. So takeaway number three is that fear is like a fire. So the book describes how fire needs oxygen to burn and the more oxygen you give it, the more it burns. And then it talks about fear and how time is the fertilizer for fear. Time is what fuels fear. So if I have a fear of doing something and then I give it time, the little voice keeps saying, well, what if this and what if that? And oh, if you do that, that might go wrong. And the more time I give it, the more that little voice is gonna be talking to me. Um, so what the book says is actually to short circuit that and take the action before the fear has a chance to grow and grow and grow. So don't give fear time of day. Okay, so those were our top three takeaways. Number one was all about your goals being massive and inspiring enough to get you out of bed, make you excited. Number two was not underestimating the amount of action and effort needed to achieve your goals. And then number three was all about fear. So not letting fear have enough time to grow and consume you and prevent you from achieving those goals. So I really hope you enjoyed our top takeaways. And if you did, please share it with anyone that you think would benefit from it or enjoy it. And we are now starting our March book, which is called The Power of Habit by Charles Doing. So we will be doing another review, another Dashley's top takeaways at the end of March. So watch this space. See you later. See you.